Things hit up high by Hatcher. Leopold is shooting around. 60 seconds left in the first sudden death overtime period. Here's Conroy now. Loose puck oh in my. front. Jelena came flying through. That shot from the Gilder stop. Shot score! Mark Jelena has won it for the Calgary Flames in sudden death overtime. The Red Wings are done, and the Flames are moving on. The Calgary Flames, they deserve this. Boy, they played hard. And in the final minute, when it looked like Curtis Joseph was absolutely going to ride his brilliant play to a seventh game, who else? Joel McGinley with that patented pull-up move. Look at Jelena. Mr. Opportunistic on the doorstep. No one's paying attention. Hatcher's out of gas. He's got an easy empty netter. Look at the bench of this enthusiastic club that they have worked their tails off in this series. For Martin Jelena, it's his second career overtime goal in the playoffs, second of this postseason, second straight series clincher. Jelena is the hero tonight. And there is no goat for Detroit. Boy, Joseph gave them everything. Calgary had some unbelievable chances. This guy's a star, man. You don't know about him. You haven't seen him. He's a difference maker. Who knows what the Detroit Red Wings will look like come next season as you look at Brendan Shanahan and Curtis Joseph. Who knows what the NHL will look like next season. The Red Wings, a second straight early postseason exit. Last year in the first round, this year in the second round. Now there's no doubt there will be some changes. But the nucleus of the Red Wings are still pretty dominant. Hey, Daryl Sutter, what a job. What a great job he's done with these Calgary Flames. He deserves a boatload of credit. Mika Kiprasov a consecutive shutout streak in 149 minutes, 11 seconds, and counting. Let's go to Aaron Andrews down on the ice. Aaron. All right, Steve, here with Jerome again. The Jerome, what a hockey game. Tell me what was going through your mind when Marty Jelena scored the second overtime goal of this playoff. Well, I saw, uh, I saw Connie get the rebound, and I saw it was slow motion when it went to Jelly. Uh, my hands were actually up almost before it got in. He, uh, what a player he is. He, he scores big goals. He's such a leader on our team, Jelly, and uh, that was one of the most exciting goals I've ever seen now. We have to talk about your goaltender, Mika Kiprasov. What a goaltender duel it was out there. What's it like knowing that he's between the pipes for you guys? Oh, my God, how good has he been? Uh, to shut out the twin uh, wings back-to-back -back, uh, and the, the saves he made, 35 tonight, point blank. We have so much confidence in him. He's uh, He's been the best goalie this year. He's awesome. Jerome, the team pulls the upset over Vancouver. You pulled the upset tonight over the Red Wings, a team many thought were going to the Stanley Cup Finals. What does that mean to you, being the captain of this team? Well, it means a lot to everybody in our room. Uh, we've really believed all year. It's been hard work. Uh, this is so much fun. Our, our fans have been awesome, and, uh, you know, we want to keep going. This is uh, We're going to enjoy this for a day or two, and, and uh, get ready to hopefully try and go further. Talk about what it's been like playing in front of these fans. This is the loudest building I've ever been in. Yeah, it's the loudest building I've been in. Uh, They've been awesome. They're, they're, um, I think uh, they show why they're the best hockey fans. They support us in the tough times. It's great to see us finally uh, be able to give something back and enjoy it with them. Well, congratulations. Thanks a lot, Eric. Hey, talk real quick about looking ahead to either San Jose or Colorado. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's pretty tough. Um, we're excited to, to just be in the next one and have an opportunity to play either team. John, thanks so much. Congratulations. Thank you.